Jason Kenney is trying to keep his political career alive. On Thursday, Brian Jean, the man who lost to Kenny in the United Conservative Party's first leadership race, was sworn back into the Alberta legislature. He won a by-election last month, and his intentions now are pretty clear. We know that we have some very serious issues, the most important being the NDP in the next election is going to get an overwhelming majority if we keep the same leader. Brian Jean and former Alberta opposition leader Daniel Smith have both declared they'll run to lead the UCP before Jason Kenney's leadership review has even taken place. They're both raising rural issues. Uh, they're both raising uh, COVID restrictions issues. Um, so that is clearly the, the challenge that Kenny is looking at. But there's a lot of moderates in the party who have also been upset with Jason Kenney's approach. Frustration with Kenny could be why interest in this leadership review is so high. What began as an in-person AGM with a couple of thousand people turned into a virtual mail-in ballot contest after the expected attendance swelled to more than 15,000. There's been um, a lot of uh, unhappiness on the part of the rebels in the party about a mail-in ballot. Um, I think because they are concerned that this is uh, much easier to manipulate. The RCMP is still investigating allegations of voter fraud related to the last UCP leadership contest in 2017. The lunatics are trying to take over the asylum. Kenny has spent recent weeks positioning himself as the moderate choice for Albertans, a winner who will lead the UCP to another mandate. The party now facing big decisions with little time to waste, a provincial election against a popular and familiar opposition just one year away. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.